Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm doing my 2019 overall beauty favourites. If you hear any snoring, um, Odin's down here next to me in his little dog bed, so he's um, doing a bit of snoring, so soz. I'm dying to get some coverage on my face because, as you can see, I'm having such a bad time with my skin at the moment. So um, I'm gonna be, as I show you guys each thing, I'm gonna be applying it. So that's why I'm here with a bare face. Also, it's just beauty, so it's no skincare or like hair care or anything like that. So, okay, let's get a primer on. So, the primer that I use the most over this year is definitely this from NARS. It's the NARS Radiance Primer, SPF 35. It just gives a really nice subtle glow to the skin, um, as well as being really nice and smooth. And when my skin's a bit better, obviously, it sort of, <laughs> that helps. I don't like primers that feel really thick and um, like almost sticky and it's not like that. It just feels sort of like a moisturiser. I feel like I discovered quite a few new things this year and I feel like there were a few really exciting launches and like uh, brand launches like Victoria Beckham, you know, always is these days, but so many launches. So it's sort of like hard to keep up with everything sometimes, but I tried my best. So, foundation. Okay. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I am obsessed with foundations and trying them and just, you know, trying to find the perfect one for me. Um, I just love base products so much. I love a few different brands for foundation, but NARS is my favorite. Like the shades the and the, the formulation, that it's amazing so um this is the all day luminous weightless foundation um i like i kind of like all of their foundations actually i used to wear sheer glow for years and then just started you know trying different ones i love this one because um it's so sort of it's quite like a runny formula so it's really light on the skin and it blends in like an absolute dream um i find on me it like the last in power what color is this one? Oh, it's in barcelona it's my winter color yeah on me it lasts for ages lasts to the end of the day i always get somewhere by the end of the day with any foundation really because i touch my face a lot but um i also love the finish because it's sort of just like a natural skin finish um, but it lets a bit of my natural glow come through as well. But I do have another foundation that I really have to give a mention to because for like a glowy foundation, I'm obsessed. But yeah, this is definitely my day-to-day -day foundation, my filming foundation, just for everything. Um, so my other foundation mention, Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Foundation. Air Airless? No. Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Oh, at first I didn't think I would like it because um, the, the formula is a little bit thicker than the NARS one that I just showed you guys. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit thicker. But after one day of wearing it, I loved it. I think it's because the coverage is amazing. It's sort of like medium to full coverage for me. I think it, d it does have a nice sort of glow to it as well. It's so funny, like, um, when I try and explain it, I do think of like a Hollywood sort of skin. You know, it makes sense because it's Charlotte Tilbury and that's what they're all about. So, I love it. If you do, if you do like a bit of coverage, like this isn't for people who like the more natural look. I, I had to sort of wean myself off of it a little bit. I was wearing it so much. <laughs> then I was like, okay, I should be, you know, I need to try different foundations. I need to put it away for a little bit. The next category is concealer. And again, I'm obsessed with concealers because I have such bad um, under eye circles. And also I break out a lot. So I'm always trying to look for products that cover both of those things. The one that I definitely wore the most by far was the Fenty concealer, the Fenty Pro Filter concealer. Um, my shade is in 310, and uh, the Fenty products are just amazing. I'm gonna apply this under my eyes. This covers under my eyes so well. Um, it does crease a little bit on me, like by the end of the day, but nothing that is upsetting. And it's also amazing for blemishes. Oh, the other reason I love this is because it lasts so long. It, it sort of, 
sets itself too. It doesn't really need setting to be honest. Um, and then once it's on, it's there. Sorry, what's wrong? I did what's the matter? I actually miss it now. Now I'm using it again. I'm like, ooh, I need to go back to it. But my number one, I would say, just for covering spots would be the NARS, is it the soft matte, creamy concealer? Not creamy, the soft matte in the little pot. You guys know the one. I've got to go to the gym later. <laughs> Gonna look so done up. Sometimes I do my powder now, sometimes I do it at the very end, but I think just as we're on like base products, I'll um, carry on with powders. So I've got two different ones, a pressed one and a loose one. And for most of the year, I was using this. It's the Hourglass Veil uh, Translucent Setting Powder. I was scared of loose powders for ages because I didn't want anything to make me look cakey or make me look and feel dry. Um, so I sort of just stayed away from them. I also just always had an image of like a puff of smoke going up when you used a loose powder. But this does none of those things. It's just perfect. Um, I really love the packaging too, because you open it up and there's just a little, um, a little area there where the powder comes through, so it doesn't go everywhere. It's so light and light and fine, doesn't make you look too matte, too dead or anything because it's so, you know, so fine. There's still loads in there too. You only need a tiny amount. And I love it for setting under my eyes, um, sort of like down the middle of my face. Um, and then for pressed powder, I have not strayed from this for so long. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in <laughs> Medium. And I've gone through a few of these. This is probably like my third one by now. Um, love the packaging, it looks so nice like in your makeup bag as well and to pull out. It is a favourite because again it's very light on the skin, it literally sort of instantly blends into your makeup. Um, it's not a heavy layer or anything so I always bring it around with me wherever I go just for touch ups and just to sort of keep any areas matte if I'm getting a bit oily. Even though I just did powders I might come back to this at the end and see if I need a powder because like, right now I don't feel like I do, I look quite matte actually which i don't know why i loved doing my brows this year <laughs> i feel like i just started playing around more with different methods of doing them and different products because for ages i would sort of do top line bottom line fill them in and then for most of this year i was doing a lot more like brushing them upwards make trying to make them look a bit bushier um so my absolute favorite product that i can't stray from is the glossier boy brow i love the brown one um because it just helps <laughs> me oh god i've talked about this product so much but i love this because it makes the most of what you've got so it you know grabs all of your hairs and makes your brows look super sort of natural bushy but natural but I do love to fill the gaps in, usually. And I've been through a few of these as well. <laughs> this is probably like my third one that I've been through. Ba -ba -da -ba. Huge discovery for me this year, which I'm so happy that I, um, I'm so happy that I found, was the, the, oh God, everything's rubbed off. That's how I've used it so much. It's a MAC, oh my God, I don't even know what the name of it is. It's basically a brow felt, tip. I got this when I shaved all of my hair off because I went obviously went super blonde and I wanted to go and get an ashy uh, brow product for my brows. Went into MAC just looking for an ashy colour and then I just then I just saw this product and I was like oh that looks good. So I hadn't heard anything about it before and just sort of blind bought it. <laughs> Which is funny it's what everyone used to do. I love just it's, uh, such a nice product for like freehand adding individual brow hairs in to your brows so i this year have been sort of this is actually running out i need to get a new one but building up my brows and literally just with lines instead like lines upwards and outwards instead of line line and i've had quite a few compliments on my brows in real life as well from you know when it's from people you don't know, like random people, then it's like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, I'm doing something right. And I just completely stopped using my pencils, honestly. 
because I just love the f I don't know there's something about the felt felt tip sort of product that it doesn't soften and blend away as much especially during the day it tends to sort of hold its line so for more eye products let's do mascara honestly I didn't really wear that much mascara this year because like on my on my top lashes because uh, all year I've had lash extensions and I'm addicted and I'm going for I'm going for infills actually tomorrow <laughs> so my lashes aren't looking the best that they've looked some due infills um but i have been using mascara for like when you know they're coming to the end or for in between um and also for my bottom lashes what i've been reaching for the most this year is glossier lash slip lash slick this is such a good mascara and because it's very um separating and lengthening and it just is not too much um and what I've actually been loving it for is just my bottom lashes. So especially if I'm in a rush, the wideness of this brush grabs a lot more of the hairs at once. So it's really efficient for the bottom lashes. And it just is so natural looking as well. Sorry, Odin's really loud, isn't he? <laughs> I'm so used to it, but I forgot it's gonna be in my video. I might pop him outside problem with bulldogs and all squishy nose dogs oh my god when I'm trying to watch something and him and Frank are both snoring it is impossible <laughs> yeah I just think it looks really nice and natural and like not too much liner my favorite thing I've been using the same liquid liner all year I feel like I am like that actually with liquid liners once I use one like it used to be the L'Oreal the L'Oreal one I used it for years um, and then I just discovered this one. It's the Benefit um, Roller Liner. I've mentioned it so many times. I love it. Um, and usually with this type of sort of application, they can dry out quite quickly, but this one has lasted me so long. So definitely, again, worth the money as well. Yeah, I love this because look at that tip. Oh, it's so thin and precise. Um, and it makes doing your liner so easy as well. Um, also, the L'Oreal one I used to use, it was quite sort of wet and the tip of it sometimes wouldn't be very thin. I don't know what it is, there's just something about it that makes, I think, makes doing your liner really easy. Maybe it's because of how long the tip is. Mm, I feel like I should do my eyeshadow before the liner though. I'll come back to that. Benefit Roller Liner, amazing. I also really like the mascara. Because I think, I'm sure they came out with the mascara first and then the liner, and I'm obsessed. So if you're looking for a good one, I love it. Also, it's stay, it's very, it's super black and it stays black. Sometimes if I'm having a really long day, then I'll need to touch it up a little bit because it can fade away, but I, I find that with any liner, really. So I'm just quickly going to go in with some, a little bit of eyeshadow, because you guys know I don't really, you, there. Like, day to day I don't wear that much shadow, um, but I have got into it a bit more recently. I feel like it really makes my eyes pop that bit more. I think at the top has to be the Victoria Beckham um, Lid Luster in Mink. Oh my God, the color of this. So you open it up, looks like this inside. Looks like this, oh my God. Oh. And then I should use a brush for this really, but I'll just swatch it. Can you see that? It's like an iridescent, brown gray green almost or blue oh it's just such an amazing color i love it reminds me a little bit of um was it club from mac but it's different it's not as sort of colorful as club was if that makes any sense i love this because you can use a really small amount and it gives you a lovely like soft look or you can build up color underneath and use it as a bit of a topper also this would look, oh, also I've tried this wet and it's amazing. I went to the launch of this and met Victoria Beckham and oh my God, it's on my channel if you wanna watch it, I vlogged it. But yeah, she was so lovely, so like calm and like chatted to everyone. Just an amazing brand. Since I just did a, a shadow, I thought I'd mention my favourite palette for this year, which was so hard. Like, I receive as well so many amazing palettes throughout the year. And uh, because I'm not that into, like, using lots, lots of different colours, I don't tend... I tend to sort of use one, maybe two, from most palettes. 
Um, but one palette that I fell, I feel like I'm saying this all the time, but I fell for it straight, oh, that's my potatoes. I fell for it straight away was the Urban Decay um, Naked Honey Palette. Oh my God, the shades in this are just, oh, so wearable, so gorgeous as well for light, or any eyes obviously, but like for light eyes, it really brings them out. Um, such a nice mix too of uh, like matte and shimmery shades. Also it'd be so nice to take away on holiday with you as well, because once you've got the tan and like you're, you know, you've got all these gorgeous golds and ambers and everything on your eyes. Mm. Probably my favorite. It was hard because there were quite a few amazing NARS ones as well that were sent over this year. It's so hard, but yeah, this is probably my number one. Two eye pencils that I really loved, and there's two because they're very different. Like, I use them for a different thing. So the first one is, again, Victoria Beckham. It's called the Satin Coal Liner uh, in bronze. It's great if you're traveling because on one end you've got a little smudger and on the other end is the product. Um, it's so soft, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I used it quite a lot this year for just, well, you know, from when I had it, um, for putting on the top and bottom and just giving it a, a quick sort of smudge for a nice daytime, like something to the eye. And just so easy and lovely to work with and it just blends out so nicely. I, I like to use it my finger. So I'm gonna put a bit on my lid and I'll put the other liner on my bottom. So that's been my favorite go-to liner sort of every day or nights out as well actually. Um, and it also looks amazing in the waterline. But um, another liner that I had to mention because I used, I've used it so much this year is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal um, Eye Pencil in, what is this in? I don't know, <laughs> but it's the sort of light color. I don't want to say skin tone because everyone's skin tone is different, you know, so. Yeah, this is just amazing for brightening inside the eyes. And I love that it's not like a pure white because that can just be too harsh. So it's a nice, just brightening, really light sort of pinky, pinky beige peach, I don't know, color. I'm gonna add a little bit of liner just at the edges. Yeah. We're done with eyes. <laughs> I feel like the eyes took ages. So back to the face. Contour. <laughs> For ages I've, I've been using the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder and I love that. And um, sometimes I still use it, but I like rediscovered this this year. I mean, I only stopped using it for like a few months and then I've just gone back to it and that's all I've been using <laughs> for my contour. I love it, it's the Fenty um, Matchstick in Truffle. And it's just so bloody easy to use, like I love it. It blends so, it blends out so nicely. It also, um, I also love it because it's a bit of a mix between a contour and a bronzer. So I can sort of blend it upwards and it also really warms up my face, but it's not a warm shade so that it, you know, makes my face look too orange or anything. It looks really dark at first, but see how easy it blends out. It is just perfect. Also, it's like I can use it on top of Sometimes I use it on top of powders and it doesn't disrupt the base, which can happen quite a lot with cream products. But they, I don't know what they've done to create this formula, but it is perfect. I love quite a few of their blush shades as well, but this is just, yeah, been the one I've definitely been reaching for. Bronzer, um, so a bit of a mix between the matchstick, because sometimes I just use that, like I said, or the bronzer I was reaching for the most this year was definitely Benefit's Hula Bronzer. It's been around for years, but they added a lot more shades into the collection, which I'm so happy about because their original one just didn't really, doesn't really show up on me. Uh, it's just like slightly, but it's a bit like, but yeah, I was so happy that they released some more shades. 
The only thing that sucks is that my favorite shade of it, which I think was caramel, <laughs> Indie was playing with my makeup and put like a brush of something with a cream product in it. So the whole top of it is like glazed. <laughs> so um, I don't think, I think this is actually the original, but I'll just add a little bit anyway. Blush, I'm not really a blush gal, but I'm really trying to get more into it because I don't know. I just think it does make such a difference to your face and it kind of helps you look a bit more alive and awake and, and like fresh. I think the issue is that I don't really like a lot of powder blushes um, and I also feel like putting that extra layer of product onto my skin, especially on my cheeks, sort of makes can make me look a little bit cakey. So I love, I love like a cream or a liquid blush and oh my so i actually have two of these to show they're the charlotte i feel like i showed these last year too um they're the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light ones um so they first i think just had the highlight and contour ones and then they added blush ones and let me tell you <laughs> they are amazing i love these they make you look like a celestial being <laughs> so i'm gonna put a bit on now um they have different shades and my favorite one mm. my favorite is this shade which is the peachier one um yeah called peach gasm oh my god it's just such a nice sort of summery product too so it's a bit like a i don't want to say highlight blusher because that might put some people off but it's just got a loom luminosity to it is that the word the only thing though is if you have a lot of blemishes or bumps on your face this will probably highlight them so probably you know better when your skin is doing well doing well <laughs> that sounds weird the only thing with the packaging is sometimes i forget to turn it off and then uh too much product comes out that's the only thing we're getting there so highlight i love it so much that in my makeup drawers i've got a whole drawer just for highlighters <laughs> so for cream for like a creamy highlighter absolutely 100 percent this one um yeah i've already told you guys what it is but yeah um oh just the shade of it the tone it's like a champagne sort of color um it's just perfect and it's so easy to use i just love like easy but effective makeup that you know, like when I'm running out the house, I can just grab it. And like it doesn't take too long to work into the skin or anything. And it looks so glowy and radiant. It, it makes me think of Victoria's Secret model sort of skin. I always bring this with me when I'm going away anywhere in summer as well. The only thing I would say is the packaging again, um, cause it's like a twist, like, uh, you know, on and off. And I've had two now, this is my second one. And I just feel like it sort of leaks um, a lot of the time. And it's such a shame cause sometimes I won't want to bring it with me cause I don't want it to leak into my bag or anything. Um, I don't know, maybe I just need to sort of keep on top of cleaning it, but. Then there's powder highlights, which there are some amazing ones. I feel like I used to be obsessed with the Becca um, Shimmering Skin one. Um, I still do really like that one, but this year I was really reaching for the MAC Whisper of Guilt highlight. Um, again, like the color of it is just stunning. It's like a champagne golden sort of tone. If I really want to go for it, then I'll layer it on top of the, the cream one but usually I don't really wear that much that much highlighter um but yeah if I'm feeling like a powder one I'll go for this one it's soup like you don't you need the smallest bit it's very pungent <laughs> I really like it too for putting up here you know when you want that bit of luminosity up here and I feel like um Sometimes it can be weird to do up here with a cream. I'm also gonna put a bit just under my brow. Boom. So finally for lips, this was another really, really hard one because this, I get so obsessed with different lip products like constantly. <laughs> um, so I had to just think of like, the, I had to think of the ones that I, you know, again, was reaching for the most. 
Um, lip liner would 100% again be Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, their lip liners are so nice and soft and the colour range is amazing. And I think this year I was mostly reaching for Hot Gossip. Um, I used to re I used to always go for Pillow Talk, which is a bit more of a, it's a lighter pink, um, bit more, maybe it's a bit cooler than this as well. It's like a darker pink. I don't feel like this goes with my eye shade. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I feel like I'm gonna have way too many lip products on, but for lipstick, again, it was so hard, but um, there was a NARS one that I loved, NARS Blonde Venus, I have to give that an honorable mention. I really loved that this year as the perfect nude color. Um, but I think the color that I reached for the most was Charlotte Tilbury's Super 90s. I don't remember if this was a limited edition actually, or if it's, um always there but I'm sure they do a shade really similar anyway but this for me was that really nice as you can see like dark darker than your lips defining sort of color a little bit dull in a good way um, this year I seem to prefer a bit of like a bit of liner and then gloss um, something a bit sheerer and a bit more hydrating looking um so going on to lip gloss i would say my favorite lip glosses this year again were nars <laughs> so many of the same brands but i also quite liked the glossier clear gloss i have to say as well but again for what i was reaching for the most probably nars this is from one of their collections but i'm sure they do one really similar to this this is called star love and it's another sort of darker nude shade for me. Oh, they just feel so nice on the lips. They're, again, hydrating, not sticky, just really, really flattering. I love them. So that's NARS Star Love. That's from their sort of uh, Studio, is it 64 collection? Oh, and another last honorable mention is for a lip product that's not as much, um, that's, more for sort of caring for your lips with a little bit of colour. I've been a fan of this for quite a while actually, but again this year. So this is the, the NARS Afterglow Lip Balms. This one's in Sex Symbol. A lip balm with a bit of a tint, so they can help you look a bit more alive during the day if you just want a bit of a little flush of colour. Nothing too heavy. They're also lovely for when you go on holiday and you don't want to look too done up, but you want to look a bit like glowy and flushed. And that would be my favourite tinted lip balm for this year. Again, to the packaging. Mm, so nice. Oh my god, I feel like I've been here for about an hour. <laughs> so, that was a long one, but they are all of my favourites from 2019. And, oh, so hard, honestly. There's so many brands that I love, so many products that I really love. Like, I'm looking at others now that I'm like, oh. I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully you maybe have found something that you could try out. Um, and it's, they're always fun to do, and they're really interesting to look back on. It also is interesting to see how it changes in how I wear my makeup. I mean, it doesn't really change that much, but you know, you never know. I'll link everything that I've mentioned down below. So check out the down bar for everything there. Um, for what I'm wearing, I'm wearing obs, my Sammy Maria jewelry. I'm wearing my um, Arsenal 2 necklace and my ring on chain in the medium length chain. It's my Ledu ring, my boyfriend signet, my heirloom signet. Oh, and my New York hoops, the small ones. And then just an old white shirt from Topshop. I've had this for ages. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing really, really well. And I hope you have an amazing year. Sorry, this is a little bit late because I would have, you know, I would have wanted to do this right at the beginning of the month, but everything's just been a bit crazy. I should be back now with two videos a week as usual. I just needed a little bit of a, you know, time out. Um, so yeah, but it's really nice to be back and like chatting beauty again. Don't forget, to, blah, 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 don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.